Sykes! He said, hold up, greatness? All right. Was, am I about to be moved? For some reason, I wasn't, I, I, I'm not expecting this week to move me, but oh, hold on. I'm going to jump the gun. All right, let's get it. That's definitely the wrong screen. Yay! Onita, peace, Yay. peace. Onita, peace, peace. Actually, wanna, I actually forgot to change this <laughs> to, to, to One Piece. Got Kubera on the mind. I I don't I don't know why I updated my laptop. I hate I hate I hate Windows 11 like interface. I don't know. I just need to go back to 10. Take me back to 10. I want I yearn to go back. I don't even know what folder I put this in. That's Kubera folder. My bad guys. What's up? <laughs> oh, there it is. There we go. Okay, that's so big. How y'all doing though? What's poppin'? Uh, I don't know if you're going to be moved, but I signed a contract with Oda's Angels. <laughs> he said, he said, he said, uh, sink, sink or swim. <laughs> My contract has been signed. I got to do what I got to do. I actually meant to change this one too. My bad. One sec. Last, last thing. Then, then we're good. I want this to be me, but the other me. I don't know. I mean, I guess I could leave it. Just make it a little smaller, I guess. Just kind of, you know what I'm saying? No, actually, now I don't think they're the same size. Now it's bothering me. You see my, see my black, my, my, my black star kicked in the, the equilibrium. But all right, let's get it. So we are chapter what? Chapter 1062. Last week we reached what? Egghead Island. We saw some fake Vegapunk or one of the Vegapunk zero two, whatever the case is. So let's just see what's going on. I'm 
contrary to my background, to stars. Yeah. Space. We switch this is for space. This is for moon piece. All right. Put up. Put your drinks in the air for moon piece. All right. <clears throat> the uh, the adventure and line of science. The dome. So it's frozen. Wait, no, this, oh, this, this is somewhere else. Germa's cold blooded voyage. Meanwhile, in Chocolate Town on, on Cacao Island. Well, why is it frozen? Frozen. I'm confused. Wait, what? Cold blooded voyage. So someone, I don't know, whatever. It's ice everywhere. Vega Punk. The Vega Punk. You said hydrate already? I didn't even bring any water with me. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Let me, let me read the chapter. Actually, fuck it. Al Q D and the right before gonna be a component glimpse and maybe pudding here. Is it wait, we said pudding? Wait. Al Q G another another black before gonna Oh we're gonna take it. Oh I wonder if they're gonna pull up there after Okay, it's Vegapunk. The Vegapunk What a fracas. Vegapunk, you're like my role model. Hey yo, Frankie, yo, Frankie's turned up. Hold on. I killed two years in your hometown, Baltimore. Sounds like Baltimore. Um, after going through your lab, there was still loads of stuff I didn't get a chance uh, to look into. It's the giant. It's the giant mech of, of my dreams. Just how many times bigger than the Frankie General is that? I can't wait to show Luffy and Chopper a stunning lady. Just a moment. This is the first time I've heard of Vegapunk being a woman, and she looks far too young. Vegapunk has been active for many years. Naturally, who said this was? The main Stella body. You're looking at um, Punk 02, Vega Punk Lilith. In any case, we always run through our research funds in a jiffy. So we'll allow you to skedaddle if you relinquish your valuables. What? These waters are chilly enough without you being cold too. You just fished us out. What kind of rescue do you call this? Are you deaf? This is not a rescue. Trespassing on these waters is not impossible. Resist and they will sink you without question. Take a gander at the weaponized uh, sea beast. Would this be the equivalent of them being able to make like sea king level machinery? Otherwise, like, listen, 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 listen. listen. I know it's Vegapunk. I, I, bear with me. There's certain things I'm not trying to see <laughs> now that these guys are on the tier of a Yonko and whatnot. So, but all right, let, let me let me refrain. What weapon I see, Beast? That's rad. But yeah, but my fears is overwhelming my uh my awe. There's Zoro looking. Yeah, there's. Pretty, 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 pretty. Lilith, what are you doing? Why do you ins why do you always insist on looting? Have some pride as a scientist. Shaka, put a sock in it. Can your infernal pride keep the lights on? They're the Straw Hats pirates. A newly dubbed Emperor crew are not going to meekly surrender. Precisely, they must have a heap of treasure stashed away. Even so, you've made a foolish blunder. Blunder? I have them surrounded. Don't underestimate them. Look at that swordsman. That's Power Hunter Zoro. His bounty is 1.1111 billion. See how calm he is? He knows you're in range for him to end you in an instant. That same goes for Devil Child Nico Robin back there. But what they can do against all the sea beasts? They're, the strong can appraise their prey and prioritize the most essential targets first. You should have been more cautious. Those imbeciles around them lulled me to a false security. Confounded. I was careless. Ha <laughs> ha! They said Zoro's that nigga. He said he said try some stupid. Stupid. They're like yeah yeah. Try some stupid. <laughs> try some dumb. <laughs> Yo, they put respect on his name. We love to see it. These late One Piece chapters not it to be honest. I feel that. Oh shoot. Let me let me hop in. Um, I forgot. I I told everybody I was about to go live and then hop into Discord. Am I a fraud? In case I think Pat said he can't come, I'm probably Alan and stuff. And if you're around, um, I just hop in. There you go. Boom. All right, it should pop up on my screen soon. If I refresh, I refresh this one. Oh, no, that's probably niggas, right? There you go. Boom. If anyone wants to join, okay, Vega Punk. There's something I want from you, so you'd better play nice. Got it? No matter. Bring them here. Logic Shaka Dr. Vegapunk Punk 10. 
I have an interest in that crew. So you've been here before? Yeah, when I was a kid, it was still pretty run-of-the-mill lab at the time, though. How come you came back? I'm here for answers. I'll have that bastard's life if I don't like what I hear. Vegapunk, the one who turned my dad into a cyborg. So wait, is she quite literally related to Kuma? Like Luma's like her, Kuma's like her blood father, being the um, like like actual dad. Pat needs that One Piece talk after that horrible football game. <laughs> she go coochie choke that baby. <laughs> Damn right, on your pockets. Rob getting that gas. They said Robin. She said Robin about the shits too. You're right. No, they said Robin will snap your neck in two seconds if you don't act stupid. Uh, do you play any fighting games? And if so, which ones? Um, it's so funny. You, it's funny. It's so funny you say that. Because I love fighting games, but I gotta let me look up one, one thing. When did Injustice 2 came out? Because honestly, that's probably the last year I truly played a fighting game seriously from top to bottom. Yeah, like, yeah, like 2018, 2000, 2017, 2018, like the last year I really played it. Skullgirls, Skullgirls is my favorite fighting game. Um, as far as platform party fighters go, I like Rivals of Aether. That's my favorite one. Um, more, th- more so than I like Smash and Multiverses and stuff. So Rivals, Skullgirls, um, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, All-Star Battle R I like a lot right now. I've been playing that. Um, that's really it, though. I do plan on I do plan on getting um, the new Tekken and the new Street Fighter. But I've been kind of, I'll, I will, I'll be honest, I've been kind of watched. And before that, the last one I really played was Fantasy, Fantasy Strike. He's completely lost his sense of self. He doesn't know who he is anymore. He doesn't think about living weapon now. That's awful. Yeah, it's unforgivable. Sorry, Bogey. It's Bonnie. Yeah, Bonnie. Wait, did he actually correct himself? <laughs> did he correct himself? That's funny. That's cool. Bro, I hate Skullgirls. When you fight someone that's that's too good, you can't even play. It's cool. <laughs> no, I, I have a long history with that game from its first inception. There's a lot of fighting games that I like, dude. Um, the ones that I'm generally not that into are the ones like Tekken and Soul Calibur. I'm not too good at the 2.5D thing to that degree, but yeah. Um, we made it to the surface. Let's track down some grub. Whoa. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention that I ran into Sabu at Mary Joas. Whatever. I can spill the beans later. Uh, oh, she's thinking in her head. What's all this stuff? No, tell me now. What the fuck? What's all this stuff? Is that a giant robot? It's also the things out there. Sort of like a futuristic kind of city here, I guess. Okay, not bad at all. What in the world? I'll be at, I'll be back after I take take one for a ride. Hey, we're infiltrating this place, remember? Gum, gum. Luffy, take care, Luffy. He got rocket into the mouth. He went inside. <laughs> Luffy's been eaten. Wait, he went through? Are you, I thought I got swallowed, but whoa, is that a giant parfait? There's cookies and fruits too. Look at them. All. Thanks for the meal. Hold on, you guys. Why would they leave food lying around? It has to be a trap. What the? We went right through it. How can we see it but not touch it? Is it a hologram? <laughs> it's, it's 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 so cruel to make us hungry like that. Crap. Did we die earlier and not notice? There's no. <laughs> Wait, who said that? <laughs> Was that Luffy's dumbass? <laughs> He said, did we die? <laughs> um, I'm not avoiding game type that, that girl. Skull Girl is such a sick, great time. And Indivisible was great too. Fuck Mike Z for fucking that shit up. How can you? How can we see it but not touch it? Um, there's no way we're ghosts. I've never seen one before. Who said that? Okay, okay. I was like, Luffy's seen a ghost, technically. Um, must be a hologram. What the hell is that? It takes me off. It's 3D made of it's a 3D image made of light. You see them in comics and science fiction stuff. It's just an image. Oh, the space monster. That's why I went right through it. It's the gi- the giant robot must be one too. No one can make something like that. Mm. Wait, what's this? All these buttons have pictures on the food on them. Give it up already. I think it's Alan's a shan. That reminds me, weren't weren't the seas around the islands freezing? You'd expect this place to have similar climate, but actually this is a winter island, but the environment is set to tropical mode in here. With my island aircon invention, you can spec- specify and regulate the temperature on the island down to the soil. This one's as big as Kaido. You're a hollow, hollow thing too, right? He punches it. Look, huh? Take this. She hits Luffy. I'm sorry. <laughs> he hits something. Did that fool come up? Yo, they have the... Yo, they have the thing from Spy Kids. <laughs> you, you, make, you put it in the microwave because some McDonald's? Hold on. Let's go. A hamburger you can uh the drink came out. Who made it? You can touch it. It's real. So good. 
Press the next one. Press the next one. Steak, omurice, tonkatsu, cotton candy cake, ramen, fried chicken, hot dogs. Hold on. I'm hungry, nigga. What the fuck? Uh, well, at least you appreciate my work. That's the unmanned cooking device. It can turn raw ingredients to one of 500 unique dishes in under a minute. Pizza, pasta, the make do with what you've got mode is the best, but I can't be too happy since the lack of competent engineers means this bucket of bowls can't be mass produced. Is is following the blueprints that damn hard? It pisses me off. Wait, did she hit the fucking hologram? <laughs> what? If the island air air con is the same is in the same damn boat, the centers can monitor living creatures and it could tame the weather if we just had a bit more money. There are there are endless ideas, but not enough resources. She punched a hologram. Waffles, fried shrimp. Is it yes, Spy Kids? Yeah, that's exactly what I thought about these Spy Kids. Bonnie seems like a good time so far. Yeah, I like Bonnie. I, th- I don't think Bonnie was I think Bonnie will fit in. She likes to eat. Bro has the Gear 5 smoke around him when he got angry. I didn't notice that at my first read. Oh, he kind of... Ha- yeah, I, I noticed it, but his hair was still black, though, if I remember correctly. He's like, it pisses me off. He kind of, like, turned fiery a little bit, and the cloak came around him, but... That's not him being fully free, though, you know? There's something happy. You look way too happy today. <laughs> no, I can't be happy. <laughs> they said they said he's smiling too much over there. He's too happy. Um, I'm never happy, bro. <laughs> you saved that sentence. Oh, I heard that already. Of course, my, photo, my photonic, pho, photonic gloves make it possible to physically interact with light. Hi. Perception shapes your sense of reality, but touching a projected object turns it on its head, doesn't it? Hmm, so that girl isn't real? Debates on what makes something real as old as time. It, it's something you'll have to decide for yourself, but I consider the matter settled. So, just what are you? Me? Just your resident scientific genius for hire, Dr. Vegapunk. What? What the hell? That's a total lie. You're Vegapunk? I've heard that name. Kobe told me about you. <laughs> New world, so what now? World government? Oh shoot, CP um zero. Just keep listening, Luchi. Vegapunk is technically still a single individual, but his genius is the, but his genius is second to only his busyness. When there's not enough time, you say, wait. When there's not enough time, you say they wait. You say they say you're as busy as a beaver, right? Well, imagine. If there were more than one beaver, that was his grand idea to split up into six people. In other words, these all all these six satellites are also Dr. Vegapunk, and I'm the weird one for thinking that sounds impossible. Geniuses are such a pain. In short, our assignment is to return this problem child back to Egghead. Then, then we're not with then while taking care not to damage any of the last person assets, we're to eliminate every last Vegapunk. Cypher, Paul Ages, Mask Assassins, Kakalushi, Stussy. So wait, is this, is this a Seraphim? I guess this is, this is a Seraphim. He looks like a younger Kuma. He's still kind of big. Has the wings. So probably? I don't see the fire, though. Maybe because it's not in attack mode. So we're meant to kill the single most useful man in the world. I wonder if this has something to do with the recent Lulucia incident. Someone with your instincts l- like yours knows better than to question these things. Agreed. Don't get us into any hot water, Lucci. Interesting. Okay. That's cool. I mean, it was a good chapter, I guess. It was, uh, I'm not mad at it. Something else. Hello. I heard you. I saw your comment earlier, but um, One Piece not being it this late. I feel that. I didn't think it was going to come out. So, okay, hold on, bro. The gear fights. Oh, I saw it already. Bonnie's still in good time. Spy kids. He is moved but ever so slightly. We still read the mid piece. That seraphim, more of a threat than CB0 on the highest of keys. It was fun. Nothing too groundbreaking. Yeah, I mean, it was like pretty tame and relaxed. I didn't dislike the chapter, but it didn't like move me in any grand capacity. What do you, what do you think? I like a seven for me. It was whatever. Okay, I think, I think it's one of those chapters of like, I think they're going to be far more enjoyable and fun, like on a reader, like, uh, mm. and like a uh, multiple chapter thing. Just, I think this was compiled for like waiting two weeks and being super late. It's just, it kind of comes, it's just an awkward time to read it. Uh, mm-hmm. So you already, I already kind of went in not like overly too pressed, I guess. Uh, but it was all right. I, th- I think there's certain information again where I'm like I, I would have preferred them gotten stuff 
consensus real quick. Is this man Lucci going to be any type of problem for us? Like, 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 like young Obama said, that Seraphim is more than a threat than Zebu Shiro. <laughs> it's, it wouldn't surprise me if they just got like an arbitrary power boost to be able to do something, but they're not moving me. Listen, after I saw what Luffy and crew did, I'm not trying to see these guys step to them like that, but you never know. You never know. Haku versus Hamapo, 100% happening. <laughs> Um, what do y'all think Zoro wants? Oh, yeah, see, they say, hey, Vegapunk, there's something I want from you, so you better play nice. I got it. The only things that I could think of, the reason why he'd say something like that, is somebody that he cares about or has some type of relationship with may have brought something up to him. It's possible that maybe it's some type of technology related to his blades. Some a part of me wants to, wants, wonders if Mihawk or Perona asked for something or said something. I'm trying to think of who else he cares about and that's that. Ku- Kuina? Not, not Ku- I said Kuina, that's crazy. I went to Shigi. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Kuina's dead! But, um, I don't know. What do you think? I have no idea. Uh, that power of the test uh, I gave it to some of the fight Kizaru. I didn't even think about that. Go ahead, though. Yeah, that's literally what I saw the gloves as. When, as soon as he said that, I was like, oh, here we go. <laughs> uh, which, I mean, that's not me, really moving me it's... just because we have hockey, but maybe that's for other people. I don't know. I think, to me, I think it's, yeah, I think it's mainly for other people. And I think it's kind of like uh, a for sure thing of like, even if he never had hockey, he would have found ways to deal with uh, these Logias one way or another. I think this is just proof of that. Uh, but I don't, I, I felt like a bit of whiplash, I'm not going to lie, by some of this, these technological advancements. Explain. Like, like I, I'm not not to say like uh, One Piece is like some fantasy story, like ancient times. Like they have a good amount of like technology with like their forms of television, phones, things of that nature. But like their weaponry is relatively like not super advanced. They still use cannons and like rifles. Like so when I when we go to this island of this dude, and I'm seeing holograms and spy kids like food things i'm just like jesus <laughs> it, it i'm was, like this is this is 200 years in the future i don't know i guess i mean i didn't get whiplash because one piece is just like any any given island i can i can literally get anything and i like I always have to remind myself that otama does road balloons to the moon which is like kind of story just wacky so yeah i guess that's and if you're making yeah, cyborg li- with lasers and stuff, like, and you're you're putting devil fruits and shit, like, I don't know, this is not that crazy to me, personally speaking. Luffy goes extreme diff with Frankie. <laughs> Frankie, <laughs> really. that power up to touch like it'll be. Oh, I said that Zoro wants G modification to be like his big brother Sanji. Hold on, what the higher bounty? Who's number four? <laughs> Who's four? Usopp getting a buff or some trying to arc. I I do think that Usopp's inventive mind could be stimulated in some way shape or form. I want to see what Frankie is going to do with what he learns here. Vegapunk is just that guy. It definitely had some sci-fi elements already, so this is cool. This is cool to me. 500 years, actually? I don't even know if I would. This to me isn't this to me isn't too far off honestly from some technology that I said. That, 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 the Spy Kids um, fast food maker was, was kind of crazy, though. Vegapunk was being, ups- being upset that the rest of the world can't follow his 500 years of Wesley Prince is hilarious. I still think he's partially a fraud. You think so? Yes, yeah, I, I still think most of his shit that he got from the Void Century. Because mm. I, I don't think it's possible. Like, because just no one man can do all this shit by the, like, virtue of his own genius. You're on your like, there's just no way. <laughs> the genius is so fucking annoying. I don't believe it. It's cap. <laughs> I just, yeah. I, I, that's not to say he's not smart. He is definitely extremely, like, smart. But this man, I think he definitely got some tips and tricks from the Void Century that he has lying around that's helped him a lot, for sure. Mm. Wait, why is the Zaya in the, in the fucking notes over here? Because one of the bodies are named with after the... that. Oh, wait. Evil Lilith, the faces are not good enough. All the, oh, Atlas. Okay, they're just, okay, there's going into more stuff like that. Okay, interesting. Why did they use Virgo Shocker from Saint Seiya, though? Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. That's my goat, but you know why? <laughs> oh, that's my guy. Um, so is Sora theory confirmed? Vega One is basically Sora from the comics. 
I don't I don't remember seeing the comics. I'm I not think gonna, I'm not gonna hold you. The, I can't wait to be the rest of the Vega Punks. Go ahead. I will say the fact that he calls them satellites and we're having reference to satellites as in like moons and stuff. And we know he's super techy. I think this goes more and like, even when they were looking at this, they're like, oh like aliens and shit. I'm like, okay, so like is this just using or is like oh they're actually gonna full on go into like the moon shit like in different like aliens and races potentially yeah but the space background for a reason moon piece <laughs> might get it who knows of the dials at all i assume he would but you know i feel like if he has any sky dials it's it's he's seen it and he's he needs some proven technology he's like this shit this shit whack Mine is self wind producing and self wind charging or something like that. Like it'd be crazy. Like you don't have like you know for like some of the wind dials and stuff like that, you have to actually like capture wind as much as much as you capture as much you can output. He'd have some way of like maybe self sustaining itself like that. I don't know. Why is everyone associated with a government of fraud, a blame smoker? Oh jeez, here we go. Not even a knowledge knowledge fruit. Uh right, I'm assuming his dials would be way souped up. That's what I'm thinking. I'm surprised that Frankie and Usopp didn't already do some with the with the ones down there. That's just me though. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, this 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 island is. I don't know how long we're gonna be here. That's what I'm, that's what that's what I'm trying to figure out. I don't know how long. It's I think I didn't. You know, I think like fifteen chapters. I do think Bonnie fits right in though. Did Luffy is cool. Did Luffy apologize to her? I want to see if I saw that when he called it a wrong name. I don't think I don't remember. I don't recall him ever doing that for anybody. <laughs> he calls you the wrong name, and he's just like, "Oh, listen, your name is Tarauna. That's it." Maybe this is a uh, maybe this is Luffy's romance option. <laughs> Blow will be sick. Luffy got with Bonnie. I mean, she she has an appetite. She is the only girl that actually eats like Luffy. Maybe maybe that's the connecting factor that we've been missing. A girl that can eat. Mm. Where is the fucking part? There it is. That's awful. Yeah, it's unforgivable. S- sorry, Bogey. It's Bonnie. He- yeah, Bonnie. I guess that's him saying it. Okay. Would he- is he going to call her Bogey again? I don't know. Bogey's too wrong. I'm going to call her Bon or something. Bo- Bogey's just at the- it's not even close. <laughs> um, he apologized because of Kuma. Oh, 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 four years in Wando got niggas nervous about length. Pause. <laughs> the Wano post traumatic stress disorder going crazy, dog. I could see Vega being a genius from the voice entry, but he was like three years old and got sent to the future, so he has vague memories of the technology of the past. I think that could explain it without making him a fraud since he has to sell some replicated. That's interesting to me, actually, as a concept almost. Or like some weird, maybe some weird time shenanigans and memory stuff. So it's almost like he has to remember all the things that he saw. And that's interesting. I don't know if you, I don't know if you uh, do that, but. Well, from, uh, I saw a theory what? that said Kuma sacrificed himself and that's why Akainu let Bonnie go. Hmm. Sorry, go ahead. What? What's uh? What was Odin's wife's name? Odin. Um. Oh, his Suri. wife's name. Right. Suki. Suki. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Toki. <laughs> Shit. Her name's Tom. My bad. Toki. Wow. I was. I. I, I went. I went. I went. I said. I said Sudu. No, that's the old bitch. Wait, wait. No, Sudu is Odin. Not Odin. Kin, uh, Kinemon's wife. I was going. I would have got there eventually. I promise. Toki, Toki's yeah, from Toki. the Void Century, right? Uh, we have. I don't know if we've ever confirmed exactly where she's from, but I think she's from that general time period initially. Yes. Because I was gonna say, if that's the case, and she has this devil fruit, then that means that she's always had this devil fruit, right? So there's probably not any other person that has had it. Mm-hmm. So I don't think Vegapunk would actually be from that, unless Vegapunk knew her back in the Void Century. Or, or, or there's something from 500 years in the future that could allow you to displace yourself in time, and maybe he was hit with it, but maybe it's just some, like, I'm not going with, I'm not just going with the theory, I just think maybe if he, if he, if he could do something interesting, it could work, because I'm thinking to myself, like, comes okay, so let's say, like, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm in the future, I hit the way back machine, but the way that it works, or the, or the, or the drawback is, 
your memory of present time goes with it or it goes with it to some degree. So Vegapunk woke up in the current century or time with the knowledge and capability that, that he had, maybe not vaguely remembering the actual island from 500 years in the future. I don't think it's going to go that route, but I'm just saying it'd be interesting. <laughs> Dragon, Dragon's son and Kuma's daughter. Akainu got, they want that baby aborted on the moment of conception. Oh God, he does. Uh, Nami number. <laughs> Yeah, again, I don't have anything profound to say with this chapter. I, I think none of us thought that was a real Vegapunk, so we're not shocked by all these satellites. Yeah. It's just Bonnie weird. does know what happened to Sabo, though, but she won't tell us, I guess. I just don't know if the CP0 plotline is even important right now. <laughs> He's gonna have to like. He's gonna have to sell me like. It's not to say what they're doing isn't important. Maybe like you know the Seraphim and Vegapunk stuff like that. But it's like going to kill Vegapunk and like I don't like. I'm at the point where I truly don't see them as a physical threat. Like, bro, if you're not Blackbeard, I, I don't want to. I don't want to see yeah, you. It's to the point where I'm like, Luffy's not with them. I I tr- and neither is Jinbei. I do. I I believe that Sanji and Zoro are not. But this Seraphim is supposed to be pretty formidable, so maybe with the help of the Seraphim, they could shake things up. But like, what? Haku's already lost to Zoro. I'm not worried about that. I don't think I don't think I don't I don't think Zoro's weaker than um Stussy or Luchi. But I guess fair point is we haven't technically seen Stussy in action yet, so I don't know. She could have something crazy going on. Is Stussy wrong? Hey, she, I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. She could. I, she I could. She, so. could she, she could. She could. She could have. She could have Sanji beat. She can make a clap for him one time, and <laughs> yeah, that's true. But it's just stuck. like I don't like. It's, it's like the know, Aramaki like... thing. And not that, not that, not that I think admirals are weak, but I'm like you're pulling up to an island with Luffy, Zoro, Sanji, Kid, Law, Jimbei. What are you? What What do you hope to accomplish here? You're not winning. It's not a. This is not a wise decision. But I don't know. Yeah, it's just. To me, I, I feel it's like not wrong, man. <laughs> I'm just trying to. Pick, I'm just giving. I'm just saying it's not impossible. I haven't seen her in action at all. I'm just saying. It's just, it's just always weird in late games when, like, in late games, I'm like, in uh, yeah, late game stories when, like, you try to, like, I don't know, recontextualize certain, like, uh, power levels of certain characters. It's like. Bro, you I'm can't justify 99. that with you can't justify that in my opinion with C, with CP zero like nothing he could do. Luffy's max justify level. Luffy's max level. What? Can't justify that one to me. Uh, it's, if Lucy clashes with Luffy, I'm slapping Oda. <laughs> Kaku was going for him. I promise you. You know what? what? No, hold on. What's the name of that prince? <laughs> I gotta find his name. What's, what's his name from last week? Gus. Gus. Yeah, him. <laughs> he about to pull up. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. I can't take the CP, the cipher pulls seriously. Yeah, because I'm going to be honest. I'm going personal missions. <laughs> Can Lucy even beat Jimbei? I don't think he... I Like, listen. I, I even think we have a decent barometer with friggin' who's who, like, who, who, I'm the next Rob Lucci. <laughs> and he lost. And I'm like, man, nah, I'm not trying to see this, bro. It's not moving me. This thing got to prove he can beat Bonnie. Like, and then even, like, the beginning when they talk about, like, these robot sea kings, I'm like... But Sea Kings have never been raw. <laughs> that's kind of what I was saying, like like Zoro stance and stuff, and then and then be like, okay, like Zoro and Robin could handle it. That's that was a cool moment. I appreciate that because I'm like, I care. This is like mechanical Sea Kings and whatever. Maybe hockey doesn't work, but please don't look me in the eye. Try to make me be like these. I get it, Vegapunk technology, yada yada, but they're not moving me, bro. If Zoro doesn't just one slash all those their fucking heads off. <laughs> Like While those Sanji goes and kicks him like a merry-go-round type B, I'm not trying to see that. Like, see yeah, that. it's like they would have to be Sea Kings with Sea Stone armor, uh, the 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 Puma lasers. <laughs> like you would have to be gearing these boys up, and that would still the be Seraph- like a the fraction Seraphim, of a word. Whatever <laughs> they gotta have all of that in there. Okay, it's a group. Yeah, put a fuse together Bruce. like Voltron, like. What if I'm busting CP0 are gonna kill a couple of Vega Punks, even maybe the main one? Wouldn't put it past him to get. I'm not putting past them completing their mission in that sense, because to complete their mission, they don't have to engage or assassin. They can do it from the shadows. But do we know for sure that each one of the satellites are human? Do we know that, 
or humanoid, human esque, not like not some type of machinery. Do we know that for a fact yet? Are they a carbon based life form? <laughs> Anyways, are they silicon based? Kuma Seraphim being a problem child makes me wonder if its consciousness has seeped into the past of Vista's programming. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, definitely gonna be a minimal fighting. The Zoa Bounty moment not moving me. What's up? What's up, Omar? How you doing, brother? Wait, did they say he was a problem child? The, the his seraphim was a problem child? Uh let's look at Oh yeah, I think they did. Yeah. Pepper up right here. Yeah, oh yeah, they literally just say it's a child. Then while taking care not to damage any of the last person assets, blah blah yada yada. No, the I, Zoro I, bounty I, thing wasn't moving me, but it's just the like what I don't want to see is a disrespect of the Straw Hats crew, um, crew strength after what they went through. You know, I think you have. I think Oda has to be careful with what with what things they 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 lose to, fall to, get tricked by. I don't care about the gag slap movie getting hit. I don't care about him diving into a hologram and falling. That's fine, but like certain things, you're gonna have to be careful of. Like I don't know if I buy like on a pool level character. Knocking him out for a split second at this point in time. You know what I'm saying? I think he has to be careful with certain things like that because it kind of reminds me of the f- one of the things that annoyed me in Fisherman Island is a small nitpick. Don't get it twisted. Don't, don't worry. It worked out in the end. But they had Luffy tied up with rope. And I said, there's no fucking way. <laughs> he could break that, inflate out of it. I don't care what. S- suck himself, flatten himself, get out of it. He That rope is not stopping him. Granted, while tied up, he was fighting in gear second. I think he landed some type of axe, the axe kick on, I want to say, um, on somebody. It might have been um the guy who throws shit. Jesus Christ. He throws shit, and it follows them. <laughs> From Christmas Island. Not Hody, the other one. Van Decker. Van Decker? Van Decker. Van, Van something. But yeah. Anyways, just suck himself. <laughs> you know what I'm talking there's about, no, though. There's no reason why at this point. I'm not trying like, to see this... Bam do what he does and struggle against Lalal. Basically, what I'm saying. Don't, don't, Bro, don't do that to me. Luffy, <laughs> the optics are, Luffy, yeah. Luffy's going to do Rob Luigi like fucking Kobe in the ring for him. <laughs> I need him to do to do um Rob Luigi how he did, um Bam did um Vagarov. <laughs> It's blood Tamara. Just, just, just put him down. Vander Decken. There we go. Thank you. Because if I'm sorry, like if this was before Wana, yeah, like this would be cool. But I'm sorry, even without your fight, we'll be just hitting with cockers, coding Rio and shit. Just... Yeah. Leave Lucci. Oh, wait, Lucci go. go. Smoker packing up Lucci. I don't respect Luchi. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't respect those niggas. I like Kaku. I like him, but he's not a physical threat to me. Like Zoro will see him like Zoro what Zoro what Zoro looks at him is be like you Kirinja. <laughs> Look at him again like he was fired, nigga. <laughs> Polly fired I mean, I him, bro. The issue is like they have to just reprove themselves. That's the issue. Like y'all you have to do you prove think to that me, do you, you can do even you, stop. Do you think that is uh, it's actually in a weird way? Nah, I don't know. Like, like if 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 Lucci Lucci's fighting Zoro like evenly, that's moving you without him, don't without without, without without us knowing that for the last two years they fought like bullet, <laughs> like friggin' motherfucking golden Shiki. Like, you better put niggas like that in jail if you want me to take y'all seriously, bro. You fucking black arm yeah. pepper or no, no, I don't accept this two. No, I don't accept. Okay, <laughs> bro. Like he, they should have, they should have, it should have been like a hidden fact that like all the Yonko commanders actually had two other commanders at CP Zero mm-hmm. killed in the time scale. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Against the C like, bullet, uh, I want Oda to re- to reprove CP Zero. I, don't, I want, yeah, he just wanted to make the Emerald better. Me. Yeah, I just I only I, really I only don't think she's I, beating Nami. I only said what I said because I haven't actually. I don't, ha- I might have seen her throw like one Shigan, I think. I just don't know it was what she got. I, I, I don't know her power set, is what I'm saying. I still it was a know flying that, Shigan. I still know that these guys are. um, And Tobu Shigan was an anime only thing. And the Hibachi oh. Tobu Shigan. That was an anime only move, if I remember correctly. I don't think he actually did that in the manga when he was. <laughs> I'll, I'll check that again. Yeah, it's been a while. 
But Thanks. my only point is like, did she eat a devil fruit and stuff like that? Like, I don't know what she can do. That's all I'll say. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to hype her up. I don't. I don't. I, mean, I don't believe in her. <laughs> okay, I don't believe. But that's what y'all need to be saying. I don't think she could be ulti. I don't. I lowkey don't think she could be ulti. I don't. Is that crazy? I don't like know. she has to prove know. something. Like that's the thing. It's like, bro, we've been in the t- post time skip for years, and y'all have not put one stat on the board. <laughs> y'all got zero stats. They're gonna give Luffy awakening yeah, unless you have a god fruit. You're already established as top tier. You fighting Luffy? You not moving me. They trained. They 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 got trained by Zephyr during the time skip. <laughs> Seraphim got to go 100 points to get the straw hats. A good fight. Um, since. Him and his fruit share killer instinct type ish. Oh, you said something like something like. Oh yeah, yeah okay. Oh, cause the um, cause the car- the carnivorous um devil fruits, they're supposed to be a little bit more like malicious and stuff like that. Yeah, but um, Luffy's like. No, the, the, the Luffy. Luffy's, Luffy's mythical. Luffy, I know, Luffy's but Luffy's, Luffy's mythical. <laughs> then niggas should have brought an animal or something. They need one. They need Big Bro. I think Brooke one shot Stussy. Okay, there you go. Luffy had the God Cat fruit all along. <laughs> You got the bass fruit. <laughs> I'm gonna be so mad if this if that if that really becomes the thing. Like this is actually the Gorgons. I'm like, I hate everyone. Medusa fruit not moving me for bow. I don't want to see that shit. <laughs> I'm not trying to see that. Neku 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 modeled bass. That's not moving you. <laughs> nah, that's not. Bass and bass. The bass stand was moving me though. But um, anyway. uh, I was gonna say, say uh, real quick. No, before, uh, I, before I forget, before I forget, I forgot it's like eight times already. Uh, okay, so from my, I could just I could just be reading into this too much, and maybe their relationship changed after the cover story. But I would argue that CP Zero had an established hierarchy where they where Lucci was the guy, and they spoke to him with a certain level of respect and reverence, though they followed Spandam's orders. But you could tell they never really they just they just want the license to kill type of thing, right? Did you find that? Did you did you find that? Haku's attitude with him here was pretty casual, all things considered. I've never really seen them talk to Luchi like that before. He's like, agreed. Don't guess in any hot water, Luchi. Like, Stussy is whatever because I don't know. And I don't think he's necessarily the in charge here or the number one. Okay, Dokuriki is what it was called, right? When they were measured by. I don't know yeah. if, you know if he has the highest Dokuriki, whatever you want to say, in CB0. So I don't know if he still commands that in this cipher poll. Um, agency, but what did you? What do you guys think? Am I am I overthinking that? I mean, I don't think he's the strongest. I think he's probably like two. I think he's like probably two. The guy uh, who I thought was the strongest is dead. Kaido killed him. <laughs> well, I was gonna say yeah. I was gonna say. <laughs> uh, but uh, I think Jabra was pretty casual with Luchi, right? Yeah, I think his, he, his, he used to, his, he used to, like, his personality like just kind of lends to that, but that's fair, I guess. Yeah. Know, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Um, yeah, I, I was wondering if it was maybe because of what happened after they were when they were on the run for a bit. I don't know. Anyways, yeah. just 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 food for thought. I just wonder, I was wondering because I never really seen Kaku have. I haven't even seen Kaku really make a face like that. I guess so. you know all the villains be chilling a little bit after they get their ass beat. Yeah, <laughs> like. It's, it's just one of those things. I was going to say, uh, the problem child thing, I think I took that more as them just talking about the Sephirim in general, because it seems like that version, the Sephirim Kuma, mm-hmm. is literally like damn near as robot, robotnik, <laughs> as robotic as uh, Cyborg Kuma. Okay. So I, don't, I, wonder if, I wonder if they have, like, since Kuma's the one they tested the most on, this Sephirim would be the one most in control. I kind of took it just, I'm just talking about like the Sephirim in general, though. No, I think but that makes sense when you think about the pacifist, the Link, and the Kuma and stuff, and this being the younger Sephirim Kuma. So I think that I think it's all connected in some way, shape, or form. That makes sense to me. The mythical Nyan Nyan fruit. <laughs> sort of like that. Now we got Kaku at this point. Dog, there's no threat on this island. So I think about this. I'm not looking for a physical threat. Just do cool science shit, lore stuff, right. world build a little bit. I'm I, that's that's enough for me. You, you didn't have to. If CP Zero is here to create some fake artificial physical threat, I didn't need that. But if it's for them to actually find a real Vega Punk, go do that. Go in peace. CP Zero have stronger right. people, strong, stronger people. So Kaku probably not as an Oz Luffy as he was pre time skip. That's totally fair. Go ahead. I was gonna say like if you have the CP zero actually pull up, see Luffy, 
and they do completely shadow work and try to kill Vegapunk without alerting Luffy the entire time, that could be really, really interesting. On some, like, don't wake up Yamma type shit. That would be cool. But if Luffy like, pulls they're up to and of, They're trying him, to stay out of his own path? Yes. But if Luffy pull like, be actual assassins. Do actual subterfuge. If you pull up and Luffy's like, oh, Straw Hat, yeah, I'm trying to fight. I'm not trying to see none of that. <laughs> Unless it's a one-shot. <laughs> A.K.A. Luffy punches him off the island. <laughs> Oh, uh, shoot. Rob looks even more than two now that the rest of them boulders got clapped up. The one of them escaped, though, right? You might you might be you might be an OG. I don't know. The mask, those mask niggas. The hold the mask and stuff. Um, Yeah, but Jabra's older than Luchi, so it's different. That is true, I think. I think I remember when they were training. I want to say Jabra looked bigger than them, but his his personality lends to that, so I'm okay with the him because he always had attitude, kind of whatever, whatever, but I wonder if I wonder if any of the other ones where did all the other ones go like Khalifa and stuff like do you think they all joined? Is this Kaku and Luchi? Are they the only two we've seen carried over? We didn't see yeah. Jabba. We didn't see um my my man Kumador. Yo yo! I didn't see a lot of them, bro. They're not around. I can't remember if it was uh canon that they all did join up. I think it was. I could be wrong. Was that like a Oh, Jabra looks like a cat dog thing. Cards. Eh, fair enough. The relationship seems to be about the same to me. Luchi, please, appears to be more laid back. He does see a little. He does seem a little less uptight, in my opinion. You probably just overthink it, to be honest. I agree with that, honestly. They might be overall equal. Super Zero with the God Knights being above them. Can't think of a series that brought back a villain and he still remained a believable threat. I can, but maybe not like typical your typical shonen jump something like that there better be a good effing reason for why they're assassinating vega because he's been carrying the government's legacy science lore fun and interaction that's we, that, that's it we good off that i feel it honestly i just want lore we can have experiment training hands against tech shit i'm not even trying to see them fight against the tech just i don't care i don't you, they don't fight in one piece anyways vega punk probably got a some contingency plan for the seraphim luchi greater than kaido nah not for me that's why kaido the government wants him dead. I love the title of this stream. <laughs> What's up, Mickey? How you doing, man? I want another Zoe. Don't forget. Wait, are you caught up? I don't want to spoil you. <laughs> we talk about the latest chapter, by the way. How you doing? I'm coming for a, I'm coming for a new email, by the way, soon. Everyone in CP9, this guy could put a CP0. Jabra had a cool moves. He got his ass beat too quickly. I'm on episode 300 or something like that. Okay. So you are so you are on CP9 arc then because 300 is um CP9 arc. Are you liking it? Are you liking any of lobbies in Water 7? Kumadori hype. I'll give CP0 a fighting chance. Will government really out here shooting their feet? Yeah. Uh, do you... Th- does it upset you a lot sometimes when you get... In a story like this, you get some mysteries this late in? Does, it, does, does that... Do you think that's like a weird... Oh, 1,000%. Weird, it's a, it's, it's, I think it's you know, awful. It's a very weird writing decision in my opinion. I don't know if I'm wrong to think that, though. When I'm like 80... Percent in. I'm not shit. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to ride with all the information that we've learned. I feel like eighty percent's all application. Let's apply all the knowledge and everything that we've learned, and just finish what we need to finish. That's what we need to do. This is the home stretch. Okay. <laughs> I'm not trying to learn no new shit. But here we are. Still got to learn all about the Void Century, all about Emu, all about the girls. <laughs> Still all about the Sephiroth. Mm-hmm. All everybody's plans. Uh, what Crocodile's about to do. But we still got to do more about the ancient weapons. There's just so much. All the Shank shit. There's so much to go through. And I know there's probably going to be a lot of overlap with like a lot of these plot points. But still. Well, how did you feel about the Robin scene? I want to live and stuff. That's actually still the, the my favorite scene of all time, <laughs> like literally it, ever. That I'm scene, not gonna lie, man. it gives me goosebumps to this day, and I saw it for the first time like 17 years ago. Oh wait, I'm not gonna spoil because he's having me chill out. But um, yeah, that and um, I remember the first time I saw Gear Second, I snapped. I said, "Yo, why he pink?" <laughs> He's steaming. I said, "What's going on?" He's going crazy over there. My eleven-year-old brain could not handle what was happening. <laughs> Just punching shit, flipping off the wall. Ah, oh, good times. The simpler times. I'll hear to go back. 
don't see why I try to live off the land. But all right. I don't. Is there anything else in this chapter I think is important? Oh, why is the island frozen? Why is, why is Cacao Island frozen? Uh, QG, pulled up? Oh, the cover I story, like... the cover story. I was wondering why the whole island was frozen. There's no there's no germ out that, that's a, that's ice related. It's fire. It's whatever the hell Yonji is. Lightning. Poison. Uh, I, I, actually, maybe. Uh, do we know Sora? I mean, Sora. I didn't even. Oh, I, no, I was going to say. Nah, if you if you think I read these cover stories. Oh, okay. I mean, oh, no. Okay. Never mind. Then. He's like, he's, like, he's, like, he's, like I, he's like, I do not give a fuck about any of that. I only See, cared yeah. because it's it, it tied into how Zerma escaped and stuff and Katakuri and stuff had been in them, so I kind of you know. But I used to I used to like them a lot, but then like he, I think maybe the pound shit's the one that broke me. I was like, I'm good. Mm. Like, after that, I was like, I can't. <laughs> uh, That's what I'm thinking. It's, I just who's, saw. Who's it, that might it's, be it's there. Probably, I think it's probably LKG based off the way everybody, because even people are like mid run doing it. So yeah. like, the only way to do it that would have to probably be LKG. Yeah, shout out to Water Seven. So I don't know how I feel Vera, about that. To be honest, yeah. we we'll, we'll, could talk about that. Oh, QG pulling up in another cover fade of Blackbeard Pirates pulling up. I I, I love to see it. Y'all talked about what? Hibari and Akainu. Who's Hibari? Oh, the girl from last week. Really? The bad bitches from last week. What about her? And he, what about her? Oh, that's doll. I think of doll. Never mind. Who's Hibari then? No, he oh, he borrows a sword girl that was crying yeah. with um Helmepo. What about her? People still be saying Judge is Yonko level. No, no one's no, no one, one can, no that. one's saying that seriously at this point. It gotta be a troll. Or you just know that that person's brain doesn't work. That's all. That's all it really is. It just, it just you have to understand sometimes when people say things, it just tell it just says more about them than it does about you. Be like, oh, oh, just so you go, oh, my bad. I didn't realize. They go, let's what? I didn't know you were stupid. My bad. I don't know how I feel about Kuzan being in a cover story after so long and not in the main story. What if it's very cool? <laughs> I don't know. Was that a pun? Was that a purposeful pun? Or? Oh, no, actually, it wasn't. Oh, it yeah. worked out that way. I don't know. I'm still laughing because he was just pulling up thinking they finna fuck shit up. Yeah, I don't know. Pudding, oh, pudding goes to his memory. <laughs> they speak in the same dialect, so people are saying they're related from the same place. Oh, really? Is that from the Japanese version, or is there something in the English version I can discern too that makes them speak, make them sound similar? Similar. I didn't, I didn't take, I didn't take that in. Hold on. Well, that's interesting. I second this. You hear? I all Kobe senpai. I guess I don't know. It's, it's pretty. I guess it's kind of form, formal. I guess I don't know. Uh, her and I kind of have the same dialect, and and they're the only two to have it. It's implied they're related. And if you see the female Akainu, Oda drew him extremely similar to Hibari. To be fair, Aokiji kind of been a background character, just in Japanese. Honestly, Shanks got done worse, than his, and his backstory was spoiled in a in a movie extra. It was. Oh, the Hiroshima dialect. Okay, interesting. Um, what what about the movie? happened I, I i think i saw something in passing but i've been trying like, to like not be on social media so i just i haven't seen as much because i heard that um something happened with the movie and the is something in the movie or i don't remember what it was i don't know i saw that passing I, my brain's not even gonna remember i don't know why i'm trying <laughs> stop old man stop it old man don't hurt the remaining brain cells you have in there they gave so much about shanks it's crazy uh, I don't know. I'd be upset if I didn't see it coming to some degree. If it's a Shanks centered movie and stuff, I expected some something canon about him to possibly be revealed at some point, you know? So that's what I expected. Alan, you better talk. <laughs> you better say some. What's up, bro? How you doing, Bree? How you doing, G? I'm chilling. How about y'all? I promise, I swear to God, this has been like the roughest right. three weeks I've had in in like a decade. I'm we sorry to hear it. that. We gonna make it. What? What you think about <laughs> One Piece? What you think about One Piece? Uh, I enjoyed it. I like the chapter. <clears throat> uh, I, my favorite moment was probably the shit with Zoro, though. 
just because I, I like when people hype up characters like that. I was saying it. I, I was saying I wonder if that was Oda's way of trying to be careful because I think it's not a great. It's not a great look if um. With what these characters just overcome, we see them struggling against some robots or machines and whatnot. So, I think to put respect on Robin and Zoro, and Zoro in that sense to be like actually, zero one. What was it, what was it? Zero one Stella Stella whatever I don't remember what, what it was called. Um, Lilith, the Vega Punk mm-hmm. was like actually you're the one that got like played. Like you're not going to rob them. <laughs> they will pack you. <laughs> Even yeah, if like you can't he, kill them all at he, once, he will prioritize the order of what he has to destroy. And you're next, you're next coming out first. And I said, yeah. Yeah, I, I like that. And then uh, I, I like I like Luffy almost going your fifth off, off the, uh, the fucking hologram. <clears throat> he said his freedom was fucked with. <laughs> 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 I generally believe he's getting the ace treatment. That new volume has a lot of Shanks info that should have been in the manga. Dang. Shanks backstory got put into one of those takeaway volumes you get after you leave the Oh really? Are we getting one though over here in the in the West? Do we know that if we're getting North America? Because that will piss me off more. As long as I go to see that movie and I fucking get one, at the very least, you know, or if people are gonna buy the movie on Blu-ray, I think they should all come with the fucking thing. Cause that was my problem with the One Piece Zero chapter. That wasn't readily available to all the people who went to see the movies. I think it was like Japan only or something. Obviously, someone translated, and I'm sure someone will translate it, but I don't. I, I, that's the type of thing that's that's bad because it's supposed to be important in canon material, and, and you want your fan base to have all the available information from all the all sources. You should make that accessible to everyone, but that's just a personal opinion. Because I think in yeah, Stampede, okay. I got something. They got me like a, the tiny little poster in Stampede. Yeah, the small postcard color page. I don't know. But anyways, the, the info is out, but they're not giving it to anyone but the damn Japanese. Oh, is the are they doing that thing where they're spoiler gating or what? Did they, what did they say? The leakers used to like leak leak teas or some shit like that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on over there in Leaker Land. I don't like leakers personally. Um, Alan, this is your time to highlight. And actually, what did we speak about? Just get, get, let's 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 uh pick his brain on what we spoke about. Um, I guess I'll start. Do you do you do you did you, this can be me overthinking something very unimportant? But I thought Kaku's remark towards Lucci was pretty casual, and I don't remember them and CP9 ever speaking to him like that. Maybe because his Dokuriki was the highest. Maybe it's because really he's the leader. Like they take orders for Spandam, but you know what it is. It's one of those things where you know we always be like, listen. Um, with the exception of one year with Ty Lue, I would say, or Ty Lue, I would say, we know LeBron's a coach, right? Like, like we know what, we know what it really is. Like, listen, he allows you to, to run plays type beat. Um, I, I don't remember anyone really speaking to Lucci like that. So him saying like, Hey, don't get us any hot water, Lucci. I wonder if, the, I wonder if because they're more on equal footing now in CP zero, he has a more laid back casual attitude with him. Or I wonder if that's related to the cover story because maybe his attitude and what he did put them into more trouble, and they were lucky to get into Cyber Pole Zero. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I, could be, I could be overthinking yeah. that. No, I, I actually... Uh, no, that, that that makes a lot of sense uh, about the, the latter part, about him, Lucci getting into trouble previously, and him, you know, just saying, hey, you know, reminding him, don't be doing this shit again. Because, yeah, I, I didn't really think about it, honestly. I, I kind of just figured maybe they were just... They just became cool like that over time, I guess. And it was just, or maybe it was just one of those comments where Luffy just wasn't really taking it seriously. He was like, I, you know, like, who cares what you're talking about? But, but no, uh, like you said, them, the cover story with Luffy getting them into trouble before, and yeah. that that actually does make sense. Mm. Volume four, Bill talks about his past, his crew, about his hockey. We're not getting that. The info was out, but they're not giving anyone the damn Japanese. We're getting a small postcard color page. Now it's Japan. Now it's Japan only because, because of course it is. The Yasop and Benny Cloud in that book is crazy. The Stampede volume said Croc and Bullet fought in the past. There was a Stampede volume? I know they fought in the past and had an encounter because he said, I'm oh, you know when he's seen Crocodile. But, um, hmm. I'm not going to get my hand on that. That sounds important. I'm not to not slack on that one. Um, damn it. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna be very honest with you, Alan. Uh, me, me, and Miles, and most people in the chat, pretty much everyone in the chat included, we do not see CP0 as a credible threat from a physical standpoint. 
Do you agree? Oh, no, not at all. Not okay. at all. <laughs> now, the lore stuff of them going after the Vegapunks, possibly fighting the first one, us learning about the various satellites and the problem child Seraphim of Kuma that they brought, that I'm more interested in. If they're going to actually be more stealthy and try to stay out of their way and assassinate them, put like the shadows, that's interesting. But I think it would be kind of fake tension to artificially try to make them as strong as like Luffy and Zoro and company. I, I just, they're just not scaring me in that capacity. But I've never, I've felt that way about them for quite some time. I don't know if you agree though. No, no, I feel the same way. Like when I saw them on here, I was like, bro, there is no way these niggas see they can take, they can fucking scrap with Luffy. I mean, I don't, I don't even know if they know the straw. Like they're probably, they'll probably don't even know the straw hats are there right now. But if once they see them there and Luffy sees them, like I'm, I'm not worried. I'm pretty sure the straw hats ain't going to be worried. So. That's the point of that. I don't even think Luffy needs to be there. I think the thing <laughs> yeah. that might throw me off is the Seraphim. I don't know what to expect from that. But if it was like Stussy, Luke, like Kaku, and like Kaku's already going to lose to Zoro again, but Zoro probably have to take on um thing this time, Rob Lucci. Yeah. And then after maybe yeah. um Kaku and, and and Sanji fight, and maybe Stussy and Jinbei, or Stussy versus Dores. I don't know. So yeah, um, I, I could see that. He um, also said Young Bell equals would... Prime Rayla, and he fought Crocodile. Crocodile both different. I, 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 those, those I remember seeing. I don't know if I, I don't know if that's because I don't, I didn't see that in the volume. Those were statements that were kind of in the movie to some degree and stuff like that. And, and they, and they, they hyped them as being as strong as really, really. I remember that. That was in the movie. I don't think that was a volume only statement. Go ahead. Uh, one thing I, I was wondering about was the, the Kuma Seraphim that we actually, that we saw in this chapter. Cause, uh, the previous seraphims we've seen all had white hair, but the Kuma one we saw has black hair. <laughs> so hold on, they said Drake. <laughs> so, CPC so like, got uh, back by Drake. <laughs> Drake. Sorry, go ahead. No, yeah. So uh, I was wondering, like, I wonder why this this specific uh, seraphim had black hair. Like, I don't know if it's because like Kuma Kuma was like the maybe it's because like it could be the prime seraphim. Or because like Kuma was like the basis of all Seraphim, so that's the what Miles was saying. That for him. Miles was saying that, and that probably makes the most sense because if you think about the pastafistas Kuma, the experiments they did on him, as far as mm -hmm. Seraphims go, he's probably the first one of the one that they started making the most or making first or whatever. And that might have come with a set of complications. Some people are saying some things like, "What if like because." Has to, real Kuma is kind of like robotic and only takes orders. So this one's like that; doesn't act on its own. You have to completely tell it what to do or something. I do think yeah, it's see, all connected. Something... Yeah, go ahead. No, I think I'm saying I think it's all connected to Kuma and the pacifistas and stuff. Though I think there's also I think it's all connected, especially for the Kuma one. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, another thing I was thinking. Uh, I, could you remind me, like, mm -hmm. the the no, oh, sorry. Does the world at large know that the real Kuma is a cyborg, like with a completely different body and all that, or is it only like certain people who know? Know what about Kuma, like the real Kuma? How he's like a full cyborg, his body's like all white. I don't now. know. If, I don't know if we know that for sure. Honestly, I don't know how many people in there would be privy to that. I, it's. I think it's pretty common knowledge at this point now. At this so point, the reason why well, I, I, the reason why because, I say that yeah. is because he fought at Marine Ford and he fought. Uh... No, no, that that was before his like that was before he had like the fully white body, the fully white cyborg body. So I mean, like ever since no, that, he, like, it was fully Marine body. Ford. He was fully converted at Marine Ford by that time. Remember when he was fighting uh, Ivankov? He was fully gone. Dolph Flamingo said, "No, that I know he was This is, this gone, is PX zero. I know he yeah. was fully like he, I know he was a full cyborg, but he didn't have the different body. Does like, he, have a, does like he now, actually have a new body, has, uh, or was he just in different mean, clothes yeah. when he was um on on Very just in different I don't remember. Well, I so I know remember. he he had like a new white like a new white top, uh, some like I think a white like white glasses, a white suit. I was just wearing rave clothes. Like, they might have yeah, just, but, yeah, they might have just been like, hey, you fucking yeah, see my. My other reasoning was that I thought that maybe if uh if that wasn't public knowledge, maybe they were trying to use this version of the Seraphim Kuma to keep up appearances. But yeah, that, that's just because I I thought that uh the real Kuma being a full cyborg wasn't public knowledge. So well, I we don't yeah we don't know. I I'm just saying I would assume so because he publicly fought. What's your name in a in like a relatively public place that was being broadcasted. I don't know to what degree people would have seen every little thing at the fight, but when uh, Dofi was speaking about Kuma, it's not like he was really hiding, like, 
he was low key screaming that shit. So <laughs> I would assume yeah. Marines would have thought Bro, people would have What? Thought. Roger found oh. Kid Shanks in God Valley. Shanks is known as the killer of observation hockey. We yeah, find out Shanks' family name. Ben Ben Beckman's hockey because I can talk about Ben Beckman. I'm assuming hockey is comparable to the Admirals. This is something I was afraid of, bro. I'm not shocked. This is I don't know what you're talking about. Well, they, said, they, they said he found that nigga in a chest. I don't care about none of this. All right, I'm about to. I want to catch. I'm about to go to sleep. <laughs> All right, <bro. laughs> that, that's what. That's uh, what we'll about. we'll talk about um, Jojo Leon next time you got some time. All right. Yeah. Don't forget your thoughts. Write them down. That's crazy. Um, you can't you can't you can't do that or whatever. That's not it, G. <laughs> I'm not surprised though. I saw this coming when when they talk about the with the Vivo cards. I'm like, oh, Sengoku got um conquerors. I'm like, this is where you told me. Oh, I knew we were going down a dark path. <laughs> this is wild, bro. Oh, back to the least. I I like I I I wouldn't even be mad if he like if he had to really tell stuff in other stories. I think he has two two avenues here. I'm not a fan of it, but you either say it's canon, you make it clear, and you say that this this artist is gonna draw this side story, or make it an OVA or a special or a movie. Actually, make a Shanks movie. Like I don't know, brother. I don't know. I'm not even gonna get into it. I'm just gonna give you a headache. I'll, see. I'll... Do you think there's a chance that maybe they thought that uh, uh, a One Piece movie without Luffy wouldn't sell? Yeah, not if it's Shanks related. No, I think that's I think I think that's them being cowards. If if they're thinking that Shanks would move the whole fucking world, bro. It's yeah. not like no, it's, 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 it's not like it's not like it's like it's like like I still watch a Kobe movie. It's not because like Kobe or Helmetpo or something. I still watch that, but. If you're thinking, like, oh, this movie's about Shanks or like this character or Dragon, you think people are coming, bro? What? <laughs> Shanks will sell. Yeah, I, I don't know what what was going on in that. Based on the family name, Shanks is Celestial Dragon. I, um, if that's true, that that was low key my inclination of why they, as a pirate, they listened to him and let him come onto the land and stuff like that. That was actually my biggest, mm-hmm. my my uh, most probable answer. Yasup has future sight hockey twenty four seven. Cause crew, cause screw cat. I guess that's not that's not that shocking to me. Apparently, Shanks has con- has Shanks conquer hockey can negate future set. Yeah, yeah. Thing was saying that um he's known as the um the killer of future, future the observation yeah. killer, side killer. Would, I, pr- I would prefer a guard movie, but he won't select out. Shanks. I agree, but I'd I'd prefer a guard one. Sorry, what do you say? I, I saw all these spoils when they first came out. I just didn't talk about them because I didn't know who else had seen them. I remember seeing something of some kind of controversy with the movie and information and passing, but I'm trying not to be on social media. I'm trying to like keep my mental like san- my sanity and I'm like I've been okay. <laughs> I've like, last, thing is, well. last thing I need is Twitter irritation. So it's it's gotten it's gotten bad that like for the weekend I'm going off to the fucking wilderness. Like I'm just gonna go off the land. I'm <laughs> cutting off cutting off digital technology. Don't look for me. I'll be back Monday. I'm just gonna go off the <laughs> land. I'm gonna learn how to forage all that stuff like i'm gonna be in the woods <laughs> i just need some nature in my life bro that's crazy Odo. that's not it brother you gotta do better with that one i'm not i'm not impressed by that i don't care if you make a, can- a cannon filler or something you can't wait this book that you're talking about is it like a novel is it like a data book is it just a special that came with the movie like a little pamphlet thing how big is it actually oh him being a dragon, Loki supports my interpretation of him crying when talking to Roger because I assume Roger told him the history of the world and unlike Roger, he cried because the dragons have a different mentality. Hmm. Ancient I arc. Nigga nature back. I didn't get to I didn't get to hike as much as I wanted this um this um summer. I mean, summer well, summer's over, it's fall now, but uh, they said something about uh out did you did you did you hear about this? They were saying that um the girl from last week, Hibari, has the has the only other person with what what did, what did they call it? A something dialect that only a Kainu has, so they think that they could be related. I, hold on, let me see. I I did see that, but 
I thought yeah. they were talking about the old man, the old man stuff in the last chapter. No, they're talking about um the fact that in the Japanese language, I guess how, how it's written out, they both have the same dialect from from from, from wherever. So hmm. it's still somewhere where I live. I am tired. <laughs> I want the sun to come back. It's cold, man. It's cold. But yeah, like all things considered, like this chapter was cool and it was fun. I had a good time. I think Bonnie fits right in, actually. All things considered, everything. Oh, did you? Oh, I don't know if you saw if you were there or not. Did it? The machine that Luffy got hit into, that made the like the food, the fast food reminded me of Spy Kids one, the the, the McDonald's maker <laughs> machine. Oh hell yeah! I mean, <laughs> totally. Yeah, yeah, totally reminded me of that. Like opera. <laughs> yeah, that's wrong. Yeah, because we already knew that to be the blue. Oh, oh, the 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 satellites. I want to talk about. How do you think? I like the, I like the, I like they're calling the sat the, the thing satellites and for Vegapunk and stuff. What do you think yeah. is? Do you think? Do you think the actual real Doctor Vegapunk is like really old? Do you think he's like fine? Do they get some devil fruit something? Or do you think he's like part machine? Or do you think that like all the punks have to like combine to make him? Or or do you think he's like a brain in a <laughs> in a in a fucking um, laboratory to like liquid. I don't know. Uh, I think that it was just one, and then he controls all six of them. Hir- uh, Hiroshima but... did dial- uh, dialect. There you go. Sorry, Hiroshima. Uh, summer, all right, Canada man. You're right. I'm, not f- I'm sorry. How dare I speak of summer? <laughs> I went to Florida and immediately understood whatever we whatever summer we get's not real. <laughs> <laughs> it's not real. It's just the warmest part of the year. I'm pretty sure it's oh, confirmed yeah, that Doctor Fagerpunk is an old man. My cra- that, yeah. that's, not, that's not really what I'm saying. But do you think he's still alive or has his corp, corp corporal form like uh, actual his original first body? Did he body snatch? Is his brain in something? That's all I'm asking, really. Yeah, I'm gonna say honestly, I'd actually. This this actually was the might doctor sound from, weird, from Dragon Ball, be, uh, with the world's strongest, not Juro, the other one. You're talking about, remember uh, him? Wheelo, Wheelo, yeah, like some shit like that. Yeah, I was about to say like I think in the world of One Piece, it would actually be, re- I guess, refreshing or you know different to see an old man who's just on his deathbed and like controls all these other things to continue doing his work. Because like normally, I guess I would expect something like Doctor Kureha. Where he's just like he's old, he's old as fuck, but he's still like still fit and able to just do everything. Okay, that's fair. but like seeing just the old man who actually can't move around or like on his own, and, and so he made all these machines to do everything for him. Like I think that would actually be some kind of. Different. But do you think that's because he's too? Do you think it's because he's too elderly, or because he's too busy, or do you think it's one of those two things could be true, true at once? He's not. He's not a spring chicken, but also he's highly, highly busy. I would say. Uh, both at once, but I would probably lean towards the uh the busy the busier thing than the uh, him being too elderly for it because they they uh they kind of focus in on about how busy he is in the chapter. So mm. Omar says, um, is it, if it's his original body, uh, he has it likely modified. Yeah, I think I agree with that because yeah, I don't, I wonder if he has some type of devil fruit that helps him out with certain things too, but. Vegapunk might be like Nagato in the pain of <laughs> He just, oh, he's sending his energy to all the six paths. <laughs> oh, there you go. I didn't, actually didn't think about it. Why didn't, I, why didn't that register? It's actually interesting that I didn't register it that way. But The chapter was cool. I don't have any, any complaints. I thought it was um, it was good. I think we're not off next week or for any reason, right? So we're, we should be good for the next couple of weeks. When does when does One Piece film Red come out over here? Is it out yet? It was November. Do we know? Do you have a release date? I don't remember. Uh, I think I saw. Hold on, let me check Twitter because I think I saw them say something about it. I want to watch that with my girlfriend in the theater if I can. Maybe I'll go up. Maybe I'll make a trip up to Atlanta. We'll fly her out here. November fourth. Okay. Wait, I don't know where is that at because they That's just early. said November fourth. They didn't say where. That's early. Oh yeah, That's November fourth. That's earlier than I thought. Okay. Um, is that movie getting like good that. reception and ratings? Have you heard? It, have you heard anything through the grapevine? I haven't heard anything, and I've I've, I've kept away from it because I don't want it to be spoiled. But I haven't seen anyone really speaking about it on my timeline. Uh, I, I've I've seen people who say they've uh, seen the leaks of it and they liked it, but that was pretty much it. Okay. I think uh, if you're if you're a fan of Shanks and like you've been looking forward to him, I think that you'll 
Like it, it's one of those. Mm-hmm. You'll be Maybe satisfied. Out of New York City. What does that do for me? <laughs> Not from New York. I'm Toronto. <laughs> um, what do you, What do you think Zoro wants with with Vegapunk? Oh, that's the last thing. I've, I've, I promise you, I was thinking so hard. I'm like there was something so obvious in the chapter that I didn't ask him yet. I have no <laughs> clue. But I, I almost don't think it's something he wants. If, if it's something he actually wants, I wonder if it's just some like more efficient way to like hold his sword or technology for a sword or mag- electromagnetic sword back to his hand or something like that. I don't know. I feel like someone he spoke to had some type of bomb to pick with him and he's just a proxy. He's, I don't know. So that's out of nowhere. He's never ever shown expressed any interest in Vegapunk in any way, shape, or form. So I have to I have literally the entire manga to go through of possibilities. Cause I thought to myself, did B Hawk mention it to him at some it's a passing and said something that he's like, Ooh, if I get this, maybe I don't know. Could it be something he heard? I, I almost said Kuina again. Toshigi, I have no idea. No clue, bro. The Mihawk thing we could see that Uh, film Red is bring up numbers. Film Red is the most sold OP movie. It's not it's just a, it's just a Uta movie musical. Yikes! I don't want that. He wants Vegapunk yeah, to create the greatest stairs in the in the mon- in the history to avenge Kuina. Maybe think of the Devil Fruit in Enma. I was thinking the the Reaper. Hmm. Interesting. But we'll see. I don't. Zoro's line did did throw me for a loop though. Cause I'm like, what the hell do you care about him? Like Vega Vega Punk. I mean Vega Punk. Frankie being excited. That makes total sense. I think Frankie's in weapon invention, 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 mastery. Almost tried to combine invention and mastery into one word. That's not that. That doesn't work. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think it'll go up a notch. I think he's gonna start creating a lot more potent robots, machinery, and things of that nature. Mm-hmm. I actually also have this hope in my heart that, if not the combination of Frankie and Usopp, Frankie could somewhat actually impress Vegapunk to some degree. Even if it's from a weapons manufacturing and creativity standpoint, I want to see that. I want to see that. I want that. I want them to have that mutual respect there, if it's possible. So, I heard Kobe and Raw in the film, so we'll be watching. Hey, this movie two hours. They better make us care about this this, this chick. Has the movie been, has the One Piece movie ever been two hours? I don't even know how long Stampede and Death Watch. Yeah, maybe an hour 50. I don't remember. Didn't Frankie learn under Vegapunk during the time skip? He went to an island in which Vega, in a laboratory which Vegapunk used to inhabit. On, I I I, I call it Baltimore, but it was called Baldy Moore, Timor or something like that. I don't know, but that but that that island where he blew himself, where he blew his face off. J- really, just spitballing. Don't got much talking. It. Oh wait, maybe everyone thinks. Oh, he says I talk about Enma, the Enma thing. Yeah, no, I hear you. I'm just trying to grasp like what it could be. Because, like, you have to think about what Zoro's goals and cares are. And cares are like being a good swordsman and things like that. So I wonder if it's like a... Do you think maybe he's wondering if the, there's a way to put a seal on Enma? Like, I think he's just going to have to l- hockey up, get better hockey, or make force the sword to bend to his will. But maybe, maybe he wants to wait that he can wield it without having to admit all his fucking hockey all the time. Do you think maybe that's what it is? Uh, Honestly, no. Because I feel like anything that has to do with Enma or Zoro wielding Enma would have to come directly from his own skill and uh, I agree with that. I agree with that. ability as a swordsman. Yeah. So, um, I'm a still something that Pat said earlier uh, when I was talking to him. But he, he said that he thinks that Zoro could be uh, could be trying to find out if there's a way to cure the smiles because we left Wayno and we like there was no we just you know there's still like all those people are still suffering from that so he, uh, Pat was saying he thinks that maybe Zoro could be asking if there's a way to actually cure that well, I guess I guess I don't have a problem with that but I'll have to see two one one I have, I have one issue if I don't get a flashback of this if that was something he cared about he should have voiced it to Chopper and or Law if, if you want to do a flash, if you want to do a flashback where he does that, even though it's retroactive and it's not moving me, I'll take it. But that's my problem with that. With that, he does. He hasn't particularly shown interest in curing it to that degree. Now, oh, you know what? I get it. The Tono Yasu thing. I guess that's the first thing I about because he was the he went to Ibisu Town and okay, I guess okay, all right, never mind then. I think I, I think that's why he said it because when he ran into um Yasui. 
Yeah. Did they call him Tono Yasui? Is that not, I didn't mean Yasui. I'm sorry. I meant him. The same the person. The cro- oh, okay. Yeah, the guy who died on the cross. Um, maybe it resonated with him, but he didn't express anything too much about it after, except that he was kind of angry at Kaido, so to speak. So I don't know. That's that, that's not moving me, but yeah, and he was lying too. <laughs> but <laughs> he was lying. Zora was a liar all on him. Hey, hey, bro, he, I would never let him forget. I'm never letting him live that shit down. <laughs> this I'm man sure. lied to me. I can't wait for his door came with the smile. I don't know. And I'm moving, so not moving me. I can't wait for him to come, get on it, get his fan base excited, and have them push back the guard parallel only for them to get fucked. <laughs> uh, I feel it. All right, kiddos. Thanks. So. I got a long weekend ahead of me and a lot of driving to do tomorrow. So. We're going to be out. I'll be back Monday. I'll drop a Kubera discussion video in the morning. And I have a glam. Goodbye.